Hi, Pisces. This is your January love and relationship reading. This is going to be for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. Okay, Pisces. So let's see what messages the universe has for you. All right. So someone loves you. The page of cups just slid out of the deck <laughs> to the side. Um, could be a younger water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Or it could be someone who's still learning how to love. Okay, they want to offer you something. You may feel like this person is not offering you enough. So they may be trying to figure out how to give you more. And still um, trying to keep fr their freedom here. Spirit, what messages? Oh, wow. All right, some of you guys are in love with this person or they're in love with you. Look at that. Page of Cups, Ace of Cups. And then we have fishes here, okay? But this is definitely your energy, Pisces. I feel like some of you met someone new. For some of you. This is not going to be uh, everybody's message here. But for some of you, you met someone new and this person's in love with you. Page of Cups, Ace of Cups. In the, mid, uh, the beginning of your reading. It's about to say in the middle. In the beginning of the reading. Spirit, what messages do you have for Pisces? What messages do you have for Pisces? Mm -hmm. Seven of Pentacles. All right, so you're trying to figure out should you invest into this person or someone else? I feel like you may have a choice between more than one person here. Could be an Earth sign, a Virgo Taurus, or a Capricorn. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Two of Pentacles. I spoke it up. You are, I feel like either you're juggling or your person is, but somebody is in love with you. Page of Cups, Ace of Cups. This is a fresh start, new beginning. For some of you, I feel like someone is coming back around to try to make something work with you. They're reconciling with you. And then for others, I feel like this is a new person. So take what resonates with you. Flip and reverse the roles as need be. But with the Two of Pentacles here, you have a choice between um, two people. And you're undecided. I feel like someone you, you have history with. Okay, it could be your child's... Uh, mother or your child's father that you're dealing with and you have history with this person and then there's someone that's new so you're trying to decide do I stay with the person that I'm familiar with that I have a lot of history with should I compromise with them with the three of pentacles and try to make something work or should I go to where someone new now if you're dealing with someone and you have years in with this person for some of you, this person could be coming back around because they know you have someone new or they know someone else is eyeing you, checking you out or interested in you. However you want to see that. And it could be an earth sign. It's a lot of earth here, but stability is in the cards for you, Pisces, for sure. We have a hermit. Someone keeps pulling away from you. Some, someone is distant and cold or they were. It could be a Virgo for some of you. Spare, what messages do you have? Mm-hmm. Eight of Swords. You're confused on whether you should leave or stay. There's someone here where you're like, should I leave? Should I stay with this person? They've done this. They've done that. And I feel like you're running um, in your head. You're running down everything that this person's done. Okay. And you're trying to figure out after everything this person's done to me, they're wanting to come back. They're wanting to reconcile. They're wanting to stay in my life. Should I give them another chance or should I move towards someone else that's paying me attention? what messages do you have for Pisces? What messages do you have for Pisces? What do they need to know about their situation, Spirit? What does Pisces need to know about their situation? How about I just ask Spirit, should you... Oh, wow. <laughs> I was about to ask Spirit, should you stay with this person from your past? And the Six of Cups came out. You have history here with someone. You don't want to let them go. But you're asking yourself, is this person really going to change? Eight of Swords. Three of Pentacles. Can we compromise? Can we work this out? Will there be an equal give and take? There's reconciliation definitely on the board here. I don't know whether you want it though, Pisces. You may want to go towards someone new, but then you're not sure. You're like, if I walk away from this other person and go towards this new person, will it work out for me? Or, or am I wasting my time? Or am I looking at the situation with rose-colored glasses? 
and then this person is just going to wind up you know doing the same thing this other person did i just feel like you have a lot of questions going on in your head i see stability coming for you either way you have the four of wands if you stay with this other person you're going to wind up settling down with this other person they're going to wind up committing with the four of wands here they see you as their twin flame this is the marriage card as well so this person is not going anywhere if you go towards someone new it's going to work out for you i feel like someone is afraid that you are pulling away because you have options spirit what messages could be a fire sign an aries a leo or a sagittarius that you're dealing with that's afraid they're not telling you though they're so caught up in their ego is what i'm picking up on here they're caught up in their ego like big time whoever this is for you spirit what messages do you have for pisces mm -hmm. well guess what like i said either way <laughs> either way you go it is so much love in this damn read in pisces who is this that love you like this it's a good thing though i ain't questioning it so let me take the question mark out of it because <laughs> i'm like who is this i love you like this this is so beautiful ace of cups four of wands two of cups someone is ready to commit to you they see you are worth it i feel like you have a lot of love for them they have a lot of love for you this is someone that you get along with really well and like I said, either this person is new or this is someone that's coming back around to reconcile with you and they want to make things work because they don't want to lose you. Two of cups. They want to offer you a cup. They want you to offer them a cup. And I see that you're going to get along with this person really well. So this is definitely a soulmate slash twin flame for you. This is someone that you're meant to be with. But you just have to get out of your head. You're in your head definitely with the eight of swords that came out for you. Spirit, what messages do you have? What messages do you have for Pisces? What do they need to know? Okay, there you go. That's what you need to know about your situation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The Five of Swords, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Fool. You don't want to be defeated ever again. You're like, hell no. Mm -mm. So you're thinking about going to where someone new. You're taking about, you're taking about, sorry. <laughs> sorry about that. You're thinking about taking a leap of faith in a new direction for some of you it could be an aries with the fool card here we also have air energy libra gemini aquarius and this ace of pentacles there is a brand new beginning here for you and you're going to go in that direction now let me explain something about this brand new beginning because this brand new beginning could be a resurgence of someone that you've been dealing with for quite some time you may have separated from this person and they're coming back around or it may just be, uh, be that you and this person was going through some things and you couldn't get it right. And now all of a sudden you're willing to allow this person to come back in and try if they're going to be consistent because you just don't want to give up on the situation. I feel like some of you are looking at your situation like if I keep giving up and going to where someone new. Like, this is going to be a pattern. And you're trying to break that pattern. It's like, you're like, I'm going to either be with this person or I'm just going to be by myself. Because you don't want to keep doing, like, the new connection, the new relationship, meeting someone new. You want something to work here. Also, with this Ace of Pentacles, some of you, your money is going to improve drastically. I know we're talking about love, but, you know, I'll discuss whatever I see here in the cards for you. So I see good energy all around the board for you, Pisces. This is beautiful, like for real. Spirit, what messages do you have for Pisces? What do they need to know about their situation and their person? Mm -hmm. You're not walking away from this person. They're not walking away from you. Eight of Cups reverse. You can't. Judgment. Just when you thought something was over. And there was nothing else to become of the situation. There's a rebirth and a resurrection. I'm going to give someone a second chance. I see second chances here. Some of you, you're going to go in a new direction. Okay. Everyone's situation is going to be different. But I see all, some of you also reconciling. Definitely. Spirit. Spirit, what messages do you have? Mm hmm Yep. You're going to be making a decision about your love life. Your cries are so great, Pisces. I don't even know what to title this reading. 
I don't. Some of you could be dealing with a Gemini with the Lover's card coming out. We also have Scorpio energy here with the Judgment card. Spirit, what messages do you have? What messages do you have? Oh, why my hand is itching. Um, my hand's been itching all day. Like I'm going to get money or something. Works for me. <laughs> okay. So, Nine of Wands. You're guarded. You know why you're guarded? Because you've been through so much with somebody. And I feel like someone is begging you for a second chance. Or they're trying to, like, bring you back their direction. Someone even maybe, like, manifesting you to come back their direction. But you're looking at... It, it, it may be a fire sign for some of you, definitely, with this Nine of Wands. An Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius. And you're looking at the situation like, listen, if I have to consistently be on guard because I don't know when the next time you're going to do something then I don't want this. But I feel like you're going to be telling someone, if you're truly going to come in and do the right thing, then I'll give you a chance to do that. But I feel like you're going to be putting your foot down with someone and setting some boundaries, like letting this person know, if you come back, come back on good intentions and not on some bullshit. And I see that this person will. Spirit, what messages do you have? What messages do you have for Pisces? What do they need to know? Seven of Swords. You feel like this person is going to be sneaky. Yeah. See, you keep thinking about the past. You're guarded very much so. And you're like, all I can think about is what this person did to me. And even though they've apologized for some of you with the five of pentacles, seven of swords, you're feeling like at some point they're going to stab me in my back. They're going to be sneaky again. I feel like you don't trust this person, but you love the hell out of them, whoever this is. And so that's why you're so confused whether you want to walk away to something new. Because your heart and your head is fighting against each other. Spirit, what messages do you have for Pisces? Mm -hmm. The devil. You have a bond with this person. And sometimes you feel like it's toxic. Sometimes you don't get this person. You don't get why they act the way they do. And then they come around and they act like they love you to death. And that they can't be away from you. And you're questioning like, okay, so if that's the case, then why do you do what you do? Some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn, but this person's coming back in. We have the Knight of Swords. We have the Ten of Wands. I feel like this is a heavy burden for you because you're afraid. I feel like some of you are afraid to take this person back because you're like, look at how the Wands is over her heart. She's definitely protecting her heart. This is um, male or female energy. The cards are not gender-based, so... This person is definitely protecting their heart because of the Ten of Wands. There's something heavy that you've dealt with before with this person. Could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, or someone who's very emotional about you guys' situation. And I feel like this person is going to come rushing towards you with the Knight of Swords, wanting to change or wanting to get this right for you because it's like they refuse to lose you. So let's pull some message cards, Pisces. Let's see what's going to happen here. For some of you, I feel like you're going to deal with both people. I'm just being honest. This, this is what I'm... The message I'm picking up on here. <laughs> oh, this card just flipped around in a circle. True love. I found my one true love. I found that in you. Spirit, what messages do you have for Pisces? Okay. So we have chemistry. This chemistry is so strong. It's setting my mind on fire. So this is how someone feels about you. And this is how you feel about them. I feel like you guys feel this way about each other. Spirit, what messages do you have for Pisces? What messages do you have for Pisces? What do they need to know about their situation? Spirit, what does... Okay. You're nervous. I worry about how our date will turn out. I hope you like me. So for some of you, you may be just like dealing with this person like going out to see them maybe you're going to meet up with them maybe someone is going to come someone may be at a distance and they're going to come to visit you and you're going to go out but you're nervous for those of you who are choosing new love and going in a new direction spirit what messages do you have for pisces All right, so we have second date. I want to get to know you better. Would you like to go on a second date? So for some of you, someone's going to be asking you on the second date, and this person may take you to the movies. Let's go to the movies and share an experience. 
And for those of you that have been with this person for years and you're reconciling, you guys may start having like date night and doing different things, things you haven't done before to um, spice up the connection and make it interesting. Spirit, what messages do you have for Pisces? I feel like someone is going to try to impress you, Pisces. Because they feel like you're worth it. Poker face. I don't want to reveal how I truly feel. So someone may not be revealing their true feelings. This person may hold back a lot. But have a lot of feelings for you. I feel like they're like. Um, whoever you're dealing with. It's like they try to act like things don't phase them. But they really do. You phase them big time. This connection phases them. Mm -hmm. and butterfly feelings. You give me butterflies and make my heart race. You also have flirting. I'm hoping my flirting doesn't get unnoticed. I like you. And then we have triggers. You trigger me. Yeah, sometimes you think about things that this person has done. And you're like, I don't know if I should trust you and take you back. Even though I love you so much. And then we have only you. You're all that matters to me. And the only one I'm pursuing. And let's get, let's get two more. Okay, right when I said let's get two more. We have leaving it open. Let's keep things open until we get to know each other better. So for some of you who are dealing with someone new. Okay. <laughs> they want to get to know you better. And then we have taking it slow. Don't want to mess things up. So this person may be slowing down. And you may be wondering like what is going on? Why are they moving so slow? Let's get this going. And they don't want to mess things up with you. They want to make sure this connection lasts. Spirit, what messages do you have for Pisces? Uh huh. Yep. Look at that. I'm telling you, listen, Pisces. For those of you that have been with this person for years, it says breakthrough. Something has shifted. Everything now seems to make perfect sense. Faded. It was destined to happen. And then we have outdoors. Let's enjoy the outdoors. Keep it simple and fun. Some of you, you there's going to be a breakthrough in your connection. Where someone is going to be coming back around to reconcile with you and trying to make things right. This person is going to be doing things differently this time because they're afraid to lose you. And you guys may be spending a lot of time outdoors, you know, dating, just going places, um, you know, instead of staying in the house. And whatever this is, it's faded, it's destined, it's meant to be, you're meant to be with this person. So those are the messages that I have for your love and relationship reading. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys are going through out there. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram at My Christ Never Lied to Row. I'm also on TikTok at The Empress 522. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.